Hello everybody, it's Chuchuki back with another Chuchuki Views video. Tonight on the program, we're playing Honey, I Joined the Cult. Let's get it. We'll do what we usually do. We'll put an hour on the timer. Let's get right into it. And we'll see how it does. I have to play with a mouse, which kind of sucks. Keep cultists immune to high. Unhappy cultists may suffer mood breaks and negative effects. Cult of the space fish. Day 52. Are things really going that bad? Assistant <laughs> Director Henderson. Oh, it's like. Uncle, cousin It from uh, the Adams family. Can I move? But a special observation bureau raid? Son of a bitch! <laughs> They're practically delusional. Take this punk, for instance. He's covered in blue house paint. That's not house paint. He's begun his transcension into a space fish. Fish. Sort of out. Yes, boys. Fish. Ugh. Oh, fish. Boss, I'm not sure this is paint. Of course not. I told you, he's part space fish. Amazing. A miracle. Holy moly. Nonsense. It's probably just that really stubborn paint. Just get him out of here. Fish? This place is done. We're shutting it down. But I did nothing wrong. Although we cannot prove you actually lifted a finger around here. Everyone else is to be taken away. For processing. What's most important is that I'm free! I want you out of this dust bowl tonight, punk. I'll be moving on to the next... I mean, uh... Yeah, of course. Officers will seal all of this off shortly. Agents, let's roll out! So we are... Uh, part of the Space Fish... Congregation? I guess is a good way of putting it. And the... Tech, the FBI, technically the... SOB... Uh, just raided our compound. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give us a share the video, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Um, I'm not going to ask you if you join a cult because that is not how I roll. <laughs> you ain't seen me, right? Uh, what? I haven't given a second chance. Time to change my ways. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Ow! Time to change my ways. Oh, who am I kidding? Time to rebuild and establish contact with a new divine being. First, I'll need some serious cosmetic surgery to change my appearance. Good thing I know a guy. So this is all intro. I could have selected intro off, but you know, we want the backstory. Three months later. Oh, uh, cult customization. Leader, the human corn cob. Cult named Flump Family. Cult is now Flumper. Holy Room XXX6. Let's see what else they got. The Atomic. High Priest. High Priest. The Don. The Divine Pharaoh. Worm President. One of a Kind Robot. Vice Moon Pie. Captain Trimbo. Head Dinosaur. We're going with the Don. Uh, let's see, what do we want to name 
ourselves. Fernando. Fernando Gabagool! Gabagool! Facial hair? Yeah, all that works. Donzies! Minkler! Difficulty will increase over time. Increase your cult. Okay. Hello, world. Hello. I'm Fernando Gabagoo. Or you can call me the Don. Welcome to Donzy. Tony told me you were coming. Uh, Tony tells me loads of stuff. Just me, though, and nobody else can hear. Tony also told me you were gonna help get the Donzies up and running. Oh, it's pretty much your destiny. I'm more of an ideas guy, though, so you're gonna have to do the groundwork. You can't run a cult if you can't see the cult. Move a camera using W, A, S, D, or the arrow keys. You can also hold and drag the middle mouse button. Move camera with the... something? That was the wrong button. Oh, okay. I think I saw a bee in that grass. Just zoom in so I can see it. Nope, just some bee-shaped grass. Zoom out. Uh, sometimes you want to take a few moments to consider Tony's plan. How do I pause? Oh. Great. At other times, we'll want people to get a move on. Look at a move. Let's return to normal speed for now, but feel free to change the speed as Tony feels fit. Don Z's are the engine of our organization. Perform all the daily duties and keep everything running smoothish. Save them for the missions they're sent on. Donzies spend their entire lives in the beautiful compound. They are truly blessed. Most importantly, Donzies extract money from our visiting followers. We need this money to realize the mysterious grand plan of Tony. Let's see how our Donzies are doing. Pick the most attractive one. Sleep. Uh, view their stats. Ugh, really? Not one who I have chosen. The mood part shows the overall mood of each Donzi. Everything affecting the mood of a Donzi is listed in the mood section. Looks like they're happy on the inside. Let's see what other information they have on them. Uh, in the level tab, you can get information on the Donzi's level and skill points. Skill points can be allocated when the cultist levels up. In the Priorities tab, you can control what jobs your Donzi does. Lobby. Uh, med med meditation. House of Cool. In the Priorities tab, you can control what jobs your Donzi does. Don't do what Donnie don't does. Simpsons reference for all you Simpsons fans out there. The Schedule tab allows you to control when your Donzi works. You'll eventually discover rooms that can only be worked at night. I find the Donzies generally look better at night, too. So from 4 to 6, they have free time, 12 to 1, and from uh, um, 9, 10, from 9 to 10, wait, 9, 10, 11, no, 8, 9, 10, from 8 to 10. Uh, managing so many Donzies can be overwhelming, especially when an organization gets bigger. Donzi's menu will allow you to view the mute of everyone at once. Uh, 
Uh, similar, similarly, the skills tab will allow you to compare the skills of everyone. Some of these people really aren't up to much, but they'll get better with time, hopefully. Here you can view... The priorities menu will allow you to see which of your Donzies are available for which job. The schedule tab allows you to see when people are scheduled to work. Okay. Everything needs solid foundations, even buildings. Let's construct some now. With foundations selected, drag an area of foundation. Construct foundation, build a door. Let's now partition the areas so we have enough space for multiple rooms. These rooms will be pretty cramped, but they'll do for now. Just to tell you that they're very pleased. Let's de designate some rooms now. A tired Donzi won't perform their duties well. Their chit chat is also super dry. They'll need to sleep in a bed to replenish their energy. Let's assign a bedroom here so they have somewhere to sleep. shows you what objects a room requires. This one needs a bed and some storage. Let's build a bed and some storage for each Donzi, and of course me. The highlighted button will display the relevant objects in the menu. Let's build five beds and five storage boxes. Yeah, build the door now. This isn't so bad, it just takes me a lot of getting used to because I I don't play these simulation games very often. Good work! Donzies will sleep in the beds during their assigned time to sleep. It's better for everyone if Donzies have access to a toilet and shower. Assign a, assign a bathroom here.
Mr. Natural, let's place some bathroom objects. The object and room menus uh, have search functions. Sonny Martin! Toilets, two showers, and two sinks. Two bathrooms. Couldn't have done it better myself. Donzies will raise their bladder and hygiene stats in the bathroom. Ordering people about is necessary and fun. Uh. Notice that usable items are highlighted in green. Let's force someone to use one of our new toilet buckets. that usable items are highlighting green. Alright, let's force someone to use one of our toilet buckets. And make her use the toilet bucket. Great stuff. I don't think they even really wanted to go. You can manually order Donzies to do lots of things. This building isn't really my style. Let's get rid of it. Uh, use the wall delete tool if you want to get rid of a wall. This keeps the underlying foundation of the wall. Right, this isn't so bad. This just takes a lot to get used to. Now let's make the sucker disappear. Get rid of the whole thing with the demolish tool. This clears the foundation completely and leaves you with nothing but grass. Okay. Uh, starving Donzies uh, tend to die. I you know this for a fact. Let's build a canteen here. for your canteen. Okay, build one vending machine. Build one water cooler. Build one canteen serving table. Build one canteen table. Very nice! Donzies will eat in the canteen in their free time when they're hungry and raise their hunger stat. Some scientists believe that vending machine food is not particularly nutritious. It can also be expensive. A kitchen will provide better quality, cheaper food like gruel. You might want to build one in the future. Uh, these rooms you've built, they're hideous. Placing some decor inside will help improve the room's prestige level.
I like what you've done with the place. Placing items within a room contributes to that room's prestige score. This is based on the highest six items within the room with other items providing diminishing returns. Placing, oh, thanks for sitting on my lamp. Uh, placing decor or high prestige items can help boost the score whilst having too little free space uh, or broken items can reduce it. Each room also has a prestige level. This is based on the current prestige score of the room and can be increased by hitting certain thresholds. Um, the prestige level is compared against the cultist level to see how happy they are. Prestige level and prestige scores are visible in a room in a room's pen. Alright, that's 14. Why is no one praying? Tony will go crazy. We need to hold a sermon right now. Holding sermons in the holy room creates faith. Faith is drained by each donzi. If it gets too low, everyone starts to suffer. Let's hold our first sermon before everyone stops believing in Tony. Sermons will occur automatically each day, providing your holy room is fully functional and accessible, and you have enough influence. Looks like our first sermon is about to Let's see how the sermon goes. You can speak all the time if you want. I won't be offended. Sermons are more effective if I'm in a good mood before they start. They take a lot of the Don's energy, though, so let's space them out. You can change the time a sermon occurs in the Holy Room sidebar. Manual sermons can also be triggered if their scheduled sermon fails to start for any reason. Select House of Cool. Uh, select Sermon tab. Uh, this lot is pretty new. Uh, this lot are pretty wait. This lot are pretty new, but they'll quickly gain experience through performing various tasks around the base and going on missions. I've used some secret powers from Tony to provide some instant experience to one of the Donzies. Let's level them up. Select Donzie. Two skill points to the Donzi and close the coldest sidebar. Um, Planning. Outstanding work. Keep an eye out for any Donzi with the level up indicator above them. What is the level up indicator? Think uh -huh. how to roll the Donzi's best suited for two and upgrade their skills accordingly. Followers are our main source of income, but first we need to convince them to join us. This is the this is the lobby. Interested people will go there to talk to the receptionist. A decent receptionist is very important, uh -huh. so try to and make it someone who can string a sentence together. If the receptionist does a good job, the person will join us as a follower and start to visit us. Start to visit. Okay, that's a typo. Uh, the person will join us as a follower and start to visit us, our therapy rooms, uh, regularly. I think that was supposed to be to visit and use our therapy rooms regularly. Hey, you know what people really love? Paving tiles. He's such a dummy. People follow paved paths if there's a route available that's not ridiculously long. Otherwise, they walk on the grass. Then they might step on a bee. Nobody wants that. Uh, visit. Let's build a path for people to get to the uh -huh. lobby. Build a path to the lobby. Outdoor floor. Outdoor paving. Outdoor paving. We'll do that. You know, let's just do this first. Close that. Uh -huh. It's very hard to see sometimes. I 
met someone in a bar yesterday, and they said they'd drop by to check us out. They should be here in a moment. Wow, they are, look totally different to how I remember. I wonder if they're still interested. Let's see. Stats information can be viewed here once they've been revealed. This can be useful for determining which followers we want to keep and which aren't worth the donate. Oh wait, we're going to get rid of them? Unknown, 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 and unknown. Quirk. Quirk? Maybe they'll have superpowers. <laughs> Topical. Followers are the cash cow that we need to milk. They'll happily pay for all sorts of strange treatments in our therapy rooms. This meditation studio is a therapy room that followers will pay to use. Sometimes I say I'm meditating, but I'm actually asleep. Followers will leave if there are no therapy rooms available, or they are bored of the current ones. Build as many different therapy rooms as you can to keep the money flowing. Remember, it's off at Tony. I'm feeling a bit guilty about splashing so much money on those luxury toilet buckets. Let the Donsies earn 25 bucks from our followers to show their gratitude. You can speed up and pause time using the controller controls at the bottom right corner. It's a good time to try them out. Oh, okay. Excellent. They clearly love Tony very much. Uh, my friend from the bar looks pretty desperate. I reckon they join our ranks if we ask them. Once followers have been with us for a while, the recruit button will appear in their level tab. Attempt to recruit them. Select follower, recruit a new Don. Oh, the new one. Oh, friend from the bar, he did say that. Deciding, making money. Bam! Oh, they get a jacket and sunglasses and everything. Okay, because they're part of the Don. Welcome to the body, pal. Uh, for Don sees to be successful, we need to manage our resources carefully. Various resources are used to research new rooms, upgrade existing ones, and buy the necessary items for them. Others are used to as two. That's the wrong two. Wait, others are used two as an indicator of how well perceived Donzies is should, I think that should be perceived Donzies are in the local community others are used to as an indicator yeah, actually that's, that sentence is totally wrong money is used to purchase items and build new rooms we need to keep our pockets lined if we want to live a comfortable life Tony definitely wants that Money is primarily earned through therapy rooms as a way for followers to thank us for the life-changing experiences they will no doubt have. Faith is an indication of how much Donzies believe in the cause. 
Each Donzi will cost us faith each day, so it is important to always have enough. We don't want them to leave. Faith is earned through our daily sermons. Want to research that cool looking new technology? Influence is what you need. Influence is used to research new rooms and upgrades. It's wonderful what you can get Donzi to look into with a little bit of influence. Influence is primarily earned via followers using therapy rooms the same way money is. Maintaining our reputation in the local community is important. This is where PR comes in. By increasing our PR, we can attract better quality followers to potentially recruit later. PR is gained from the missions, but can also be lost when Donzies or followers leave. Is the community really gonna like look favorably at a cult in the area? Don't worry, officer. <laughs> Nothing to see here. He is an indication of how much negative attention Donzies are getting. Uh, if this gets too high, we'll be subject to protests or even police raids. He can be reduced via missions and will also gradually change over time based on how many followers we've attracted. If you are ever in need of a detailed breakdown or resource income, a full stats page. Now create a research office. Right, on the plus side, we can speed through this. This is fantastic that they give you this tab because this would take forever. Aha! I'm feeling this is all tutorial still. Huh. I feel like this is over really complicated for no reason. talks to me about a lot of different things. Be it summoning giant octopus creatures, building robot armies, or striving for world peace, this will really, their will really is open to organization. Once you build a leader <laughs> sanctum, we'll be able to choose which direction to go in. Looking for a lava lamp. Whatever we do, we'll need money, so make sure you get a regular flow of followers. Donzies gain experience by performing tasks and going out of missions. By working hard, they can level up and improve their skills. Spend skill points to make your Donzies more proficient. Alright, so somebody wants a lava lamp. Slot machine. Reason level up. Uh, will not use this recreational room object. They just can't stand it. Okay. Huh. I didn't put the slot machine in. A great choice needs to be made about the destiny of Donzies. People need a goal to aspire to. A uh, purpose of for the life. Build a leader sanctum so we can make a decision about where this whole endeavor is going. Uh -huh. Alright, so we need to build a Uh, your leader 
will sometimes make a leader demand. It's best to pay attention to these. Okay, I'm working on building a sanctum. A science base to a foundation to create a new room. Aha! Could make this like a... Why is his mood going down? choice of cult uniform might have felt like the best fashion design at the time, but we all know taste change. If you're having second thoughts about any of your customization designs, decisions, you can change them by going to the cult overview. I don't want to change what we look like. I think we look cool. Alright, I'm going to build a... I'm going to build a record room in here. I'm going to make it at the end of the hallway here. I need to build a wall first. Uh -huh. Oh, because I have the foundation. Okay. Oops. All right, everybody's sleeping. It'll do. Alright, there's a wreck room. Now what do we need for a wreck room? Oh, God! I 
have to probably make that room a little bigger at some point. More beds. Without a proper bed, then Donzies. All right, we gotta put beds. Now put another bed in. Bed, bed, bed. Oh, maybe objects. It's right in front of the door. You can't put that there. Can I move? Yeah, move objects. Do I even have a maintenance room? <laughs> Awful room, horrific food. storage with the bed. <sighs> Alright, well then I guess I don't need all the beds. There. Leave it like that for now. Run out of
damn weather. take a different lunch break so there's always someone to main the therapy room to keep the money flowing. <laughs> PR missions periodically become available on the map. We can now understand who will undertake PR missions. Tony and I will guide you through how to do it. It would be great to have someone shouting about how great we are in town. of a mission will depend on many factors like who you send and how hard it is. Let's see how they do. Review the mission results once the mission is complete. Oh, you can only do one at a time? So this cult's gonna fail. <laughs> it's hard. Looks like they're good at shouting. Missions provide all sorts of rewards and benefits, such as unlocking new objects. Oh, I sent her to the... What? What do you mean they've been hurt by eating with dry hands? start this sermon, but I don't remember how to do that.
sure what I'm supposed to, what I'm doing wrong here. Can I send It's hard because I'm not really familiar with these game types of games and I want to start this cult but I don't remember how to do that. somebody there. some of these gold statues out.
participate in a turgid FM segment about accidentally melting into walls at the radio station. There you go, Quincy. You got nowhere to sleep anyway, so... Well, this cult is not going well, but that's fine. That's my fault, not the... Uh Triggered your first mission encounter. These can occur when your cultists are on a mission. Your mission will not be progressed until the encounter is resolved. Alright. What happened? See that. Alright, I guess we'll make her go to take a bath. Oh, that's the bed. If I run out of prepared food, I have a kitchen right here. How do I fix that? Build the leader's sanctum. Oh, he got arrested. That's nice. Shaking someone's hand too hard.
Guys, we're gonna go a little bit further. Um, Fantastic foods, and when to eat them. Midnight snackers find odd side effects after virus erupts. Hunger replenishes 30% faster when eating. Um, we're gonna be this episode's gonna be wrapping up in a few minutes. Um, it's basically a you're running a cult. <laughs> it's exactly what it pays. What you ask for? No, what is that? Oh, that's the that's the new paper. Okay. Um. All right. So, Bama. Bama's doing some research. Can't recruit any of these. Hey, Don. You're close to leaving. We lose 410 faith. Alright, I, I feel like this is overly complicated for no reason. But I feel like a lot of these uh, simulation games like this are overly complicated for no reason. I'm giving um, Honey, I Joined a Cult, I'm giving this a 7.5 out of 10. Um, it's interesting to see, like, this is kind of actually how things like this are done. They spring up overnight, and then they get people to join it. Um, I think it's, I'm not going to bash the controls, because I feel like it's more so my fault, because I don't use mouse and keyboard games very often. Um, as well as not playing these type of simulation games very often. It's interesting. I think it's pretty cool, the actual idea. Um, I just feel like, like I said, it's graphically it's fine. The music is good. The story is pretty cool, like that. Um, but things are overly complicated for no reason. I know a lot of these simulation games are like that. But, uh, but if you're new to the channel, make sure to give us a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Ladies! Have a good night, everybody. Let me just uh, see if I can, how I can get back to the. Huh. Oh, well, this is the guy here. Okay. Oh, let me just see how you get back to the. Oh, there you go. Just save that here. Even though it has, it has auto save. I would like to be able to. Honestly, I'd like to be able to play with a keyboard uh, with a controller. But that's gonna do it for me. We'll see you in the next one.